hello and welcome back to the Water Beaver playthrough here in Terraborn. This is episode four here in cycle eight on day one, and we are in the middle of a crisis. So I'm going to go ahead and hit pause real quick, and we're going to explain just how we're going to solve all of our problems here. So we've we've got <laughs> we've got beavers dying left and right of uh, all sorts of fun things like starvation and dying of thirst. We actually just had two right now. Battery smooth. Rest in peace. Davy as well. Uh, dying of thirst. Looks like right here and right here. Yep. Mm, unfortunate. But uh, what's happened is we've mismanaged our resources to the point where the game has uh, more or less decided it's time to punish us. And there's a number of misdeeds that we did last time. So let's go over those real quick before we unpause and fix everything. So uh, we don't have... Well, okay, I'm sorry. We have one unit of water. We don't have any food, despite food being here, our beavers working here in the farmhouses cannot harvest everything at the same time. So uh, what I should have done very early on, instead of building this florist, I should have built more farms. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you what happened. This farmhouse only employs one beaver. The folktales farmhouse employs three, and the iron teeth farmhouse employs two. So I was used to farmhouses being substantially more uh, useful, I guess I should say. And uh, since we don't have the farmhouse upgrade yet, you can see uh, we need tar for it, which, by the way, is the entire reason all of this exists. All of this. We're trying to make components to, you know, advance things. Uh, so, you know, you have to research different buildings. You have to have different buildings to make other things and things to make things for the things and the things to make things for those things. So you can make the other things. It's like, hmm. We, we went way too far, way too fast, and uh, our beavers are paying the price for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by correcting the very first wrong here. Uh, removing this florist, which I can't remove until these paths are gone. For some reason. But that's gone. Good riddance. We'll see you. Never. Probably. Um, and instead, what we're going to do is we're just going to put two more regular farmhouses here which is going to open up six additional beds. Uh, the florist had three, so it's still a plus three on the beds, which we kind of don't need because they're going to keep dying anyway. So what we're going to do also, uh, this water storage house, we don't need, it's empty, first of all, but we don't need the extra beds, so goodbye. We can use the resources to make other things as well, so that's A-OK. -okay. Uh, other things that were probably a mistake, uh, at least for right now, uh, wood felling plantification lodge, cool building. Uh, it grants bonuses to the uh, the beavers that are felling the trees, but uh, right now we don't really need to worry about that. We have plenty of wood. So what we're going to do instead is pause this building and have them uh, probably go live in the farmhouse. And instead we're going to put in a lumberjack flag right here. Because if you remember, our, uh, our trees are set up in a checkerboard so that they can just continuously replant each other. I uh, guess I could get rid of that and mark while we're here, mark these for cutting just so that that's accessible. And yeah, so that's that's why I'm pausing that. Uh, it just makes it easier. Keep things in check. And now our library. I really like this building. I think it's cool that you can, you know, have beavers come in and do research and then also just visit for recreation. But but they've been eating all our food. So, um, yeah. Goodbye. This is paused. We're going to take all the food back out and use it to, you know, actually feed our beavers instead of being snacks for the nerds. Uh, yeah, there definitely would be me in here as one of the nerds reading. I, we talked about that last time. But, um, yeah, it, it's, we'll, we'll reopen this later. It's just it's way too much for right now. So that's fixed. Next thing we've done is there's no water storage over here where most of our pumps are. So what we'll do to rectify that is put in some of these uh, covered tanks right here. Set those for water. And then that way, all of the beavers that are here are not going to need to worry about uh, schlepping water all the way across the map. They can just put it in the tank right there. And this is almost done. Just waiting on the pine resin, but I am going to pause. Actually, no. I think we'll leave, the, we'll leave this up. But I will... Um, yeah, I'm going to deprior no, that's construction. I'm going to deprioritize these as jobs. The uh, expansions up here. Hey, Kurt, you're going to go work somewhere else probably. Um, going to get rid of that, and then this guy, eh, this doesn't need to be here. 
because I was trying originally, <laughs> trying originally to put a platform here, but you can't build these on platforms. So it doesn't really need to exist. Uh, I'm not going to delete it yet, but it's probably, uh, probably going to become unprioritized. And instead, I'm going to choose to prioritize uh, these four on the bottom right here, all the way up. And then right here is a builder lodge, which also houses beavers for, well, living. But nobody's working here yet. I, I don't think we're going to mess with this quite yet. But we are going to need builders to, you know, build things. And we also have a bunch of space that hasn't been planted yet, including down here. Probably should be growing some more crops. Um, but these guys obviously are occupied. <laughs> so... Uh, I'm going to set this one to planting. This one is already set to harvesting. And then uh, I can't do anything really too much here, except I, I will mark one of those as uh, harvesting, because these aren't built yet. We have the option to plant more cabbage or more sunflowers. We can't do anything with peas yet. Spatterduck, as I found out, is useless this early in the game, which is too bad, but uh, I mean, I don't have any incentive to delete them. But... Uh, decorative mushrooms, we can't, you know, eat them, so uh, there's no point in planting these, plus that was a, a florist thing. The rest of this is kind of locked behind other buildings. The large farmhouse is going to let us do, I believe, or the upgrade, I'm sorry, the assistant farmers let us do decorative plants, which grant us, it looks like dirt or something like that. But the rice is what we really want, and that has to be the large farmhouse, which we don't have yet, and we won't have for a little while because... Um, we have to have these uh, blueprints, which can only be done, I believe. Uh, game calls that the Copus Lodge. No, Sparkling Blueprint. I'm sorry. The, uh, whatever the actual, uh, oh, fanci Fancifying. Okay. Gotcha. So we have to, uh, oh man, now what am I going to do? Copying existing blueprints. Um, oh, that's got to be the architect that does that, I think. Uh, now what? Yeah, Architect's Lodge. That's what I need. I need to make a blueprint. And I can't build the Architect's Lodge because I don't have the science for it yet. But that's going to be uh, something. It also says it works as a staircase, so maybe that's uh, maybe that's something we can get into. But uh, for right now, we're not going to worry about it. All we need to worry about right now is getting... Well, first of all, this paper mill needs to... Uh, probably also be paused. I'm not worried about that. We need to get food and water. That is it. That is the only thing that we need to be focusing on. So everything else, it just, it just does not matter. So the log gnawing station uh, produces sawdust, which we are going to need to make mushrooms. And the rudimentary sawmill doesn't really have any additional benefit because we can have five beavers working here, at least for right now. At least for right now, five beavers working here to make a whole bunch of sawdust. And our screw press down here, while we do need it to make sunflower oil, we don't have the seeds harvested anyway, so it's not really uh, not really too much going on here. So we, we're probably just going to leave this alone. We'll see how everything balances out after I unpause here. But um, yeah, suffice to say, a, a lot of mistakes were made. We're going to try and fix as best we can. The cooking tent is making braised cabbage. Once it has enough mushrooms, which it currently does not because we don't have enough sawdust. So I figured, you know what? We're trying to make screw press axles. This is, um, if this already has one, actually, I'm going to switch. Yes, I'm going to switch recipes. Uh, I guess this is only good for uh, 20 uh, units or 20 cycles of production. So uh, this is no longer going to be making screw press axles. It's going to be making, well, I can make just sawdust. Oh, let's do that. Let's just make sawdust. That's easy. Mushroom grower. This building here, the harvester's office. Uh, we still need to use because that's how we can get all of our uh, berries. So that's fine. They're okay. The regular houses here are housing uh, for haulers. We have rear Kumiko and uh, nobody working here, which probably should be uh, rectified. We'll see about that in a second. But I think now we're good to unpause. Uh, we're probably still going to lose a couple beavers because that's that's just what happens. But now everyone's going to be slightly uh, reprioritized, reorganized, and we'll see what happens. But we don't have any sunflower seeds right now. Uh, I think the uh, 
uh, covered tanks are going to be the first thing that needs to get built. So we'll see if that if that becomes the priority here. This is almost done, but I am going to pause. I'm going to pause these two just because, well, we need to really need to get these other tanks built before all of our beavers die. So hopefully they can at least not die of thirst. Uh, the food coming out of the library now is able to be consumed, which looks like most of them are doing. So it should reset the doom timer at least a little bit for most of these beavers. And now all we can do is just kind of wait and see what happens. There's still dandelions. You can't really eat those, so that's fine. These guys are planting and harvesting all at the same time. Love to see that. Uh... All this rubble from the florist can be recycled to do other things. I'm sure we will at some point soon. But I'm going to go ahead and get this farmhouse going as fast as possible to start harvesting food. So I guess, yeah, the farmhouse is actually first in line. I was mistaken. This one should be next. Uh, do we have anybody sleeping and working? Yes. Guns and bourbon holding it down to the builder's lodge. And then we got these guys down here working in the district center. And now we're just uh, mainlining sawdust, I guess. We've got John Keith and carbon-based operator error grinding away at the logs to make some sawdust so we can make some mushrooms. Producing mushrooms. Yeah, I love I love how fast this is. This is great. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to save our beavers one mushroom at a time. Unfortunately, though, we, we have still had some deaths, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's going to work out long-term. We just had to have a little bit of a uh, fix all this stuff moment first. It is what it is. That's just the way it goes. So, so yeah, stuff is looking a little bit better now. Obviously, we don't have any sunflower seeds to grind into sunflower oil. Well, we have we have one unit, one unit of sunflower oil, which uh, I believe had to go. Yep, had to go into the alchemist to make tar. So that's uh, that's really not a uh, not a thing we want to be messing with. Um, harvesting though, I'm gonna go ahead and have this guy harvest the uh, sunflowers. Prioritized, Peach Jackson over here, because now we have these four farmhouses. So it's still only four farmers, but you know it's uh, better than nothing. Food supply is recovering, water supply is recovering. Got a lot of baby beavers coming in at some point. So uh, that's pretty much all we can do is just try to get food restored and figure out exactly what else has to get done. All the other progress and everything can come later. We just need to make sure we get a nice reset. And it looks like stuff is going slightly better. Uh, got haulers. I don't think I need to prioritize anything quite yet. Uh, another thing, we have all this wood stored down here. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and decouple this whole thing so nobody's tempted to go all the way down here. Uh, we'll just save this for right now. Some storage to increase our uh, our dams over here. But that is not going to be what we are dealing with right now, for sure. We'll just figure that out later. Again, we are in full recovery mode. We're planting plants, harvesting plants, making some mushrooms out of sawdust that we're just grinding <laughs> or grinding up logs to make to make sawdust. Uh, nobody is working here, but there's still mushrooms. All right, I mean th uh, that's fine. I will take that. That is okay. Now we have our brambles eternally growing. Kind of thankful for these things, actually. How uh, how easy it is to just infinitely farm wood because of all this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have these trees marked for cutting so we can have some more uh, berry bushes here. And getting rid of these berry bushes was not smart. Not my finest hour, but, uh, you know, it just happens sometimes. Gather a flag here can grab these guys as well, although uh, it probably would make more sense for this to be up here and not buried all the way at the end because this is the only thing they can get to. So, old Gary here is going to be relocating his job. I don't know if it's going to keep him in that job, but 
to right here, but I don't, I don't think I want to put anything there. If I put this here, he can't reach those. If I put this here, he can. And if that's the case, uh, we have our four harvesters. I'm tempted. All right, Gary. Sorry, bud. You got to go. Uh... There he is. All right. Back in the gather flag on the other side here. Uh, again, we can just either let the blueberries spread here or we can uh, demolish all of these and start planting more cabbage. But I think for right now, right now, we just want to make sure we are keeping up as best we can. Now that we do have 100 berries stored up, I think it's probably okay for us to get rid of these and just go all in on planting more actual crops. So that is what I will do. Just grab all this, make sure we don't delete our actual uh, our actual cabbage here. What this is going to do is this is going to allow us to place down another farmhouse right here. And then once we have our uh, upgrades, we'll be able to unlock those. But I just, I really want to make sure that we are really focusing on farming. Because that would be pretty dumb of us to, uh, <laughs> to not be doing all this correctly here. We have our path coming around the back. I don't think we want to mess with that. Uh, these things right here, I'm just going to kind of leave them alone. Not the most important thing ever. I know we have a lot of power coming in. We're not really making that much use out of it, except for the screw press. But we are using it, so, you know, it's um, it's definitely, definitely something. Water is there, looking good. We definitely need to have more storage, but I can't, I can't research these big ones yet. So now we have plank tanks that will have a uh, slightly higher capacity. And these guys, we can go ahead and build... Oh, can't put that there. Uh, we can just go ahead and put in this guy right here. I kind of want to put a building on top of this, but maybe I won't. We'll just... I'll just put this here just because. No reason not to. Just some extra storage on top of other storage. Look at that go. Looks kind of cool. There you go. Plop that thing in there. And so we have water storage there. We have a little bit of water storage here. We have... Let's well, kimchi storage there. And then we have water storage over here that doesn't really have... Uh, much going on in the way of, well, storage. Mushroom-wise, we're still looking okay. Uh, they're eating them. We probably want to go ahead and make a couple more of these mushroom growers. So I'm actually going to, since these are empty, get rid of all of these sawdust things. And instead, I'm going to put in... There's no upgrade for this, right? Mushroom farm. Oh, oh 700 science. Never mind. See that one in two weeks. Um, <laughs> recipe... Fast mushroom growth, fast mushroom growth. The slow mushroom growth, uh, I believe, we take a look at this. Uh, it gives us 40 mushrooms, but it takes 80 hours. And it uses logs instead of uh, sawdust. So for the short term, at least, I think it makes more sense to use the fast growth just so you can, you know, have more of it. Uh, actually, we don't have any, any sawdust storage now, do we? I probably should, probably should just go ahead and uh, have a sawdust storage here. That's fine. And over here, and let's piles. I need tanks, plank tanks. It's your turn to shine here. A little bit of water storage. All right, now we're up to thirty-seven adults, uh, starting to recover pretty nicely. We've got. Not a ton, that's not food. Not a ton of food, but it is on its way here with the uh, the braised cabbage, logs, and mushrooms. That's why we're tripling our mushroom production. It is funny, though, how, <laughs> how, there's, how there's no worker here, but it's still making mushrooms. So if we prioritize all of these guys by the haulers, I wonder if... I wonder if they'll just work without anybody in there, like, at all. I don't know. Let's Let's see what happens here. Because as soon as this gets sawdust, we should see should see some action. Once they start supplying it, I guess we're gonna have to have another log gnawing station before too long. Just to make just to make more sawdust. Okay, now somebody's actually working in there. 
but one one log seven and a half hours make 12 things of sawdust and the fast recipe requires one sawdust and 0.1 water the slow recipe uh, requires three logs and 20 units of water takes 80 times as long and makes 40 times as much see i just i'm sure there's some sort of way f for someone who understands math to reason this that's not me I just see the I just see the 80 hours and I want nothing to do with that. I just want the one hour, one mushroom. Even if it is technically less efficient because you have to grind the logs into sawdust first or what have you. But I think that is going to be fine. So we're going to plant more cabbage, but I am going to put in uh, another set of farmhouses here. So I can put, uh, I, I guess we're just going to have everybody living in farmhouses now, huh? Uh, I'll just have this go like so. And then I'll just have this come across like this. Get rid of these. And we'll just fill this whole thing, whole thing with cabbages. Right here and then on the side as well. We already have some water there. Just all cabbages all the time. I don't think we're out of sunflower seeds quite yet, but we might want to... Uh, might want to get there. Now the Builder Lodge, uh, once everything is built, we can probably just honestly pause this and see what else is happening because we're about to have a whole bunch of other uh, bunch of other fun stuff. But hey, look, we have tar. We have tar. And we only need 20 tar to build the assistant farmers, but it also requires us to have science, which we do don't currently have very much of because we paused this because they were eating all the snacks and we don't have any kimchi because well um we wait why don't we have any kimchi if this is a uh... yeah why is this paused this shouldn't be paused it really should not be uh oh it doesn't have enough cabbages all right okay i saw the 10 out of 20 i thought it was 10 out of 10 because that's what the top one was Plenty of bramble flowers. We just need these guys to, uh, you know, do their thing. Set two to harvest. And now we've got to start trimming some jobs out from other spots. Uh, so that's already a low priority. That is a low priority. Uh, these were paused. The construction was, at least. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and build them, but we'll make sure there's still a lower priority job. We just want the building to be here just in case. Oh, and here comes that drought warning. So, uh, yeah, we definitely, definitely need to have more water stored up. But fortunately, the population rebounds pretty quickly. Just need to make sure we're not uh, just hemorrhaging water. Thankfully, sunflower oil seems to be uh, seems to be working here. Uh, we're making plenty of tar. I don't have any storage for tar. This is kimchi empty, holds tar. All right, let's, let's come out of triple speed for a second here. Give ourselves a little bit of a chance to catch up. Flank tanks hold 40. I think that's, I think we're just going to want to keep building a bunch of these. Um, right here, that is a path that's not connected. So let's fix that. Put our path right here. This is going to hold tar. This path is going to come down here. And what else, what other liquid sunflower oil probably should be up here too. So that is going to come along here. Uh, which one is sunflower oil? Right there. All right. So we're going to have those two liquid ingredients. Uh, coal and logs don't really care about. Um, all that's fine. Paper mill I'm not worried about because we have enough paper currently. So this is... This is fine here. Once our cabbage keeps coming in, that's going to look good. And I mean, now we have eight farmhouses. Eight farmhouses. <laughs> I think that's probably enough. Probably enough farmhouses. This, uh, hey Roy, uh, this lumberjack flag uh, can get paused. I'm not going to delete it. There's no real reason to. But we'll pause that, have him go do something else. Uh, this gatherer here, Drexos, uh probably just going to pause it because we have uh we have this entire thing over here 
and we have 300 some berries stored. So I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Seems like stuff is going reasonably well otherwise. We don't have any more pine resin, which is going to become a concern here in a second. That's because I got rid of the uh, building that harvests it. Uh, the, what is it it's called? Tapper's flag. So that probably is another one of those things I should have built somewhere else, but I didn't. And it's it's just going to have to go probably right here. That's okay. Um, this bridge house, we probably, I mean, are they, yeah, they're haulers. We, we do need haulers, so that's okay. Same amount of haulers uh, per dweller as these other small houses over here. So eh, nobody's living here anyway, because I guess it's far away, which is probably good. This will all be caught soon anyway. I just want to make sure they can put all their materials here. Kimchi storage. Yeah, so I just, I want to be, I want to be able to build these farmhouse upgrades at some point. But we do need the tar for other things. I just don't quite remember what. Handicrafters Lodge. That makes, oh, okay, that makes the balloon. That makes the balloon for trading purposes. Interesting. Well, that's that's another fun thing to get to. So, all right. We've got a drought incoming in two days. We need more water. We need to have that stored. So really, our priority probably should be probably should be these water pump buildings. So uh, let's see. Who else can I take away? Oh, we're making plenty of mushrooms, so that's good. Raised cabbage. I think for right now, since we have so much food, I'm going to temporarily... Uh, supercharge our water pump staff here and let them go to work pumping as much as they can. We have plenty of storage that we can fill up. Well, relatively speaking, only 370. That's not really a lot, but I, I don't have, I don't have the science to research these other things. So for the time being, I, I don't see, yeah, I don't see any amount of resin unless there's still some on the ground. It looks like clay. Clay, clay, explosives. Yeah, there you go. Gears, explosives. Uh, gears, clay. It's just stuff everywhere. Spatter dock, spatter dock, spatter dock. Spatter dock. Yeah, let's get, let's get this tapper's flag built and make that a priority job. Because I want to build more of these uh, plank tanks. They hold 33% more than the small tank. So... Why not, if you have the chance to do that? And we do have some planks. We have plenty of planks, actually. So no reason not to would be actually kind of dumb not to take advantage of that. So just because I can, and because I know I'm going to be paranoid if we don't, don't do stuff like this, I'm just going to build six more of these things, try to get a whole bunch of water stored up, and that's going to be that. So back to triple speed we go. Try to make it through all of this stuff. Uh, no more pumping out of the backside, thankfully. So we're not going to have to worry about this drying out in normal mode because the drought's going to be a maximum of nine days. So that's all good. We've got plenty of, well, these guys aren't doing anything except hosting beavers. we got three, four, five farmers, but they seem to be working uh, pretty well. Probably should be planting more, but once we're done uh, pumping a ton of water, then I can start putting guys back here in the farmhouse, or they can just make more beavers, and then that solves that problem for itself. Pretty soon we should see this start to be a little bit better. I want to click on the thing. There we go. Tapper's flag. We got Jonathan Durrett in here getting the pine resin for us. So stuff seems to be, seems to be doing pretty well, recovering about as well as one could expect. Uh, food situation still not ideal, still not perfect, but we are pretty uh, pretty far on our way to having a lot of these problems solved. Especially now that we have these things here, we've got the tar and the sunflower oil in their own uh, storage. So now our uh, alchemist can continue making tar because we know we need to use it. We need to have some of that 
uh, stored up, ready to go. And of course, paper when we actually need paper, which is not right now. That'll be fine. And they still have saw blades. We're just not making any planks because we deprioritized that. And we have these guys only making sawdust. And as soon as we have extra beavers, I do want to have some more in here to join these two. But it seems like uh, pretty much all these guys can do is keep up with these brambles. So I kind of want to give them a little bit of help. Kind of want to put in one of these uh, one of these wood felling planification logs. So that is um, lodges, excuse me. That'll hold three beavers and uh, also inhabitants. Gives a bonus. So yeah, if we have the ability to actually like use this, we probably should. Now, why can this not go here? Is that because there's brambles in the way? I feel I feel like it like it does. So if I have if I have this, if I was able to get back in here, it'd probably be better. Or I could just put it here, honestly. Would not be the worst. Not be the worst location. If I give if I give them a dedicated house, they're gonna get that bonus, and that's gonna be nice. So uh hopefully we can make good use of that. Now we have 300, 300 water we have. Look look at look at these things. We got we got seven different pumps all occupied in the same spot. It's kind of a kind of reminds me of watching the uh the valves on a uh, on an engine in a car if you have the cover off. Well, hopefully yours doesn't look like this with only this one going. <laughs> They're supposed to all go at the same time. Kind of offset. Food supply continuing to improve. Still not perfect, but we're uh, we're getting there. More and more beavers growing up means more and more jobs occupied. We actually only have two vacancies right now because of everything we've paused. So I think we're going to be in pretty good shape here. Um, we do have beehives if we really hate ourselves to uh, to boost the growth of crops, but I, I don't feel like dealing with uh, beavers with stings and injuries. That does not seem does not seem like a fun and productive way to uh, way to spend our time. So this should be, yep, it's the pine resin, waiting on the pine resins. These guys, oh, there's plenty of resin. Plenty of it, Jonathan's just got to, there you go. Yeah, get that, get that pine resin. Get that out of here. So I think, yeah, that's all we're waiting on for this building. And then these guys will be able to get a nice boost to their uh, working speed. If I click on, let me click on that, not the, there we go. So he's actually got a, uh, a boost from well-being, or he can if the well-being is five, which he doesn't have because he's thirsty. Well, go get a drink. There's all sorts of other things that we could be doing to boost the well-being of the beavers. We just have not been able to get out of survival mode. So, you know how this goes. I would like to reopen the library, but again, we do not have the kimchi or the sunflower seeds required. Because uh, we're trying to just keep all of our beavers alive, which we do have 70, so we have twice as many, over twice as many from when we started this episode. But we should be able to keep up with them, assuming everybody's working like they should be. So I think back here in the corner for right now, we don't really have anything else going on. So I'm just going to just going to go ahead and plant some sunflowers where they are easy to access. Can always get rid of them later, but right now there's no reason not to have these guys. No reason. And these <laughs> crappy warehouses, I love these. Um, all this stuff like the, uh, the fermentation barrels and everything. Admittedly, Probably should be somewhere else. So, um, let's just demolish these and we will relocate them to another spot. We have our tanks. Or that's going to be under food. All right. That's right. Fermentation barrel. We can put right here in the middle because we have uh, bramble flowers. Actually, we can just get rid of all of that. Uh, crude saw blades. We'll just leave those on the ground and we'll plant some more 
cabbages. Chemistry sets. Why does this say zero? Why does that say zero chemistry sets? Oh, because that was for the... Uh, that was for the alchemist. Okay, so this is cabbages. Crappy warehouse for cabbages. This, instead of chemistry sets, can be for... Uh, crude saw blades. Steel saw blades. We'll make that for the crude saw blades so that they can take that out of there. Uh, gather a flag. Old Gary here. Probably, I guess we can leave him alone. This mini warehouse here should probably end up becoming storage for, um, oh, that's what I was going to do. Fermentation barrels this whole time. That's what I was attempting to remember what I was going to do. Pour these guys for kimchi. Start stocking it up. And we'll just have this path wrap around like so. And then here, I believe we needed a storage for bramble flowers. Yeah, I can't. I can't research. Well, I can research these. I just don't. Uh, just don't need to. That could be for bramble flowers. Where are there? They go. So the rest of these uh, gather flag and everything. Bramble flowers are going to end up being hosted somewhere here. Oh, so we already have these in addition. Wow, okay. Well, look at us go. We got uh, we got all of our jobs filled. That's actually encouraging. Now that we've kind of cleaned this up a little bit, we do have space. Uh, berries, cabbages hopefully can fill up a little bit more. Bramble flowers are just automatically completely filled. If we can get our cabbage output to increase, then that would be good. It seems like we're pretty much picking them as soon as they grow with all the guys we have now. Uh, 1.2 days left. I don't think we've pumped this out dry, and it's probably not going to be probably not going to be dry. Uh, we do, I think, want to start increasing um, this here. And damn this up one more level, which is going to require us to do a little bit of a, a little bit of thinking. We've got a damn upgrade that is also research that has to uh, has to go here. A hundred science. Beaver for passage in one direction. A power shaft utility dams. Okay, that's pretty uh, pretty snazzy. So now, if I want a primitive dam upgrade. And, oh, I'm going to have to build these across this entire thing. Do, do I even want to? Do I want to mess with that? Like this, oh, this levy takes so much, so much resources. But this takes, oh, okay, I don't have the, I don't have the blueprints. So this is too, too high? Oh, I can't build this here because why? Why is this... Why is this red? Must be built on the ground. Okay. Well, it's on the ground. Oh, they have to... Mm, that's... Okay. It can only go in one direction. All right. So, uh, dam upgrade it is. Primitive dam upgrades just need to research one of these. Drows over here. We are in cycle nine. So, let's come off of triple speed real quick and assess what our best course of action is going to be. I don't have... Is this kimchi or is that... That's braised cabbage. Okay. Because I think people are just eating the cabbage or turning it into braised cabbage. Um, I'm going to pause the cooking tent to see if we can make some kimchi real quick. Because I need to turn the library back on. I know this is, this is dangerous here. But I need to turn it back on because I need to have some more science. So I'm going to unpause. Got Redneck and Texas Game Mom in here... Uh, studying whatever they're studying so we can hopefully try and get some uh some stuff done here but i need i need to dam this up so we can have more water because we're going to be pumping a lot more and it's definitely not going to be a fun time if we don't have all of this taken care of but that's going to be that's going to be something 
that is going to be something. Now I could, I could, if I really felt like, you know, just being that kind of dude, I could just cheese it by building a ton of lodges here and just not occupying them. But that still is going to use a pretty significant amount of resources because of the number of these I'm going to have to make. Now the primitive dam upgrade, the, uh, the big one can only be built on top of an existing dam. So I wonder if we could just... Okay, hold on. Let, let me think here. That is... That's by two. So this is like a four-way. Why Why is that? I don't, I don't think we need to worry about that. So this guy... Okay, it's the same amount of resources, so that doesn't really... Uh, doesn't really become that big of an issue. So that just needs to go... That needs to go there and there and there, there and there and there. Oh, good. That's the perfect size. <laughs> okay, and then that goes there and that goes there. And we just need to upgrade on top of here. I think once, well, once I get rid of this one tree, which I will just uh, mark for demolition. I'm not going to not gonna stress out about having some guy work here. But we do have the logs. We have the logs in place. We just need to get people down here to build so I'm going to reconnect. It's going to be a very, very long and arduous journey. But I believe they have the ability to do it. And once I connect that, it should also should also be a thing. That needs to become very high demolition priority. Send that turbo out. Uh, drain this of all of the uh, all of the logs in here, which hopefully they will do. Yep, that's exactly what they're going to do. They can't reach this because there's no... So let's... Mm, yeah, let's just connect. I guess I could just demolish this. Don't need those dandelions anyway. And then the metal fasteners are going to be an interesting problem to solve because we have to make those at Permit of Ironworks. Oh, that's actually what it's already set to. Okay. Okay, and our coal we don't have because they're not mining. But I have unemployed beavers, so two more of you go into the mine. Uh, that's already there. Uh, log gnawing station. We just max that thing out. Uh, that's already maxed out. That's maxed out. Uh, we got these guys working in the sawmill to make planks and sawdust, so that's, uh, that's fine. Screw press. The uh, library is librarying once the kimchi is done, at least. I guess I should prioritize these by haulers to try and get that something accomplished here. All right, now how are we looking down here? All right, still uh, making some good progress. About as good as we can expect, honestly. Yeah, it's going to take them a while, and they're going to use all of this and more. But uh, I figured I'd just let them use this and then get rid of the pile, because, well, we do have to have a dam that goes there. Anyway, so that's looking good. Still have some unemployed beavers. So who who is not full to capacity in terms of that? I, had, I shut off the cooking tent because we had to have kimchi for the library. Clay pit we don't need currently. Uh, gather a flag. That one was paused. Uh, everything else seems to me like it is, uh, everything we want to have turned on is turned on. So that is music to my ears. Let's just get, uh, let's get some more science done. Oh, good. I have a hundred. That means I can pause this. Good. <laughs> so now we can research the, uh, primitive dam upgrade and, oh, I have to have both. That's a pain. So, <laughs> oh, I forgot. I can't. Oh, no. I have to have the fancy schmancy uh, smart people in here. So that requires, I need a, uh, to make a blueprint. The architect has to be, no, no, where is science? The architect's lodge. I have to research the architect's lodge first. Um, so what is, what is this thing that says 10 and it's got like a, well, I mean, we have to have this anyway, so let's just, uh, oh, this is a bit, what in the, 
this actually stairs? That's that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> I love this text. A fancy building to help architects show they're better than us. Also used to design structurally sound buildings. Yep, that tracks. So can I... Oh, I can put this here, but I, ca I want the stairs. Assuming they can actually use this as stairs. Uh, I, w I want that to be actually, you know, usable. So uh, maybe, it, maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe I'll just put this here. Maybe. Oh, it's got another entrance. Okay. Um, we should have all the materials for this. So recipe. Damn upgrade blueprint. There we go. Let's see if I can figure out how to make this work. The only thing I don't know about is the very first item that has all of the different types of uh, all of the uh, different like sticks crossing. And it, it takes a lot of hours to make a blueprint, but we uh, definitely need definitely need to have this. So it's good. Good to have this um, at some point. I don't know whenever they're going to be able to actually you know, finish it, but the night is young. You guys like long videos anyway for this series, at least as far as I can tell. So that is what we'll do for that. So this is just about empty. I'm going to unpause this lumberjack flag, and I'm not going to delete this pile until these are all done, because it's, it's going to take a while, I think, to get there. Fortunately, food seems to be catching up quite quickly. We have 11 unemployed beavers. All right, we got to find something for them to do. I just can't afford to keep spending food on the library. Uh, we are going to need paper, though, so maybe I can turn on the paper mill. Yeah, let's let's just turn the paper mill back on just so they have something to do. Um, everything else is looking uh, looking pretty good, pretty good. I guess I should be putting path segments in. Now oh, these brambles grow so fast; it's almost almost pointless. Well, at least we have a pretty good source of wood. All right, what are we? Oh, they haven't even gotten to this yet. Uh, let's let's just prioritize the. Uh, lodge because I don't think our damn upgrade is going to be even close to finished by the time they're done with that. So we make this the priority. Yeah, yeah, they should have this done pretty quick. That will end up... Oh, of course it's it works as housing because everything does. Mm, I just... I wish I had a better place to build this that I could actually use the stairs, but for right now... For right now, we're fine... Just like this. And I kind of want to have, um, I kind of want to have some more haulers, but I can't just build a hauling post. <laughs> it's got to be, uh, it's got to be a part of a house, I don't think. Yeah, everything else, harvester's office already have, builder lodge have already built. Uh, this just turns, uh, copying stuff. Oh, handicrafter's lodge. That, okay. That's, okay, we need to build this too. That needs to go, I guess. I'm not going to put that there because that's kind of in the way, but I'll put this right across the street. <laughs> right across the street. So that is, oh, it's a pencil set. Okay, that makes sense. I just couldn't quite figure out what that picture was supposed to be. So that's looking good. Um, I'll, you know what? I, I'll just, I'll turn the library back on. Why not? Why not? Query everything here in the Architect's Lodge. Trying to make a damn upgrade blueprint. Oh, it takes 50 kimchi. Oh, we're screwed. <laughs> because we got to have so much more. So much more in the way of uh, cabbages here. Well, I mean, it, it seems to be working okay. This is not, um, uh, not watered, so it can't really grow anything there. But I guess since we're already here and they have all this space to grow in... I'm just going to go ahead and put cabbages and cabbages and cabbages all over this thing. 
Just plant more cabbages because why not? We'll definitely use them. All right. Architect's Lodge is up and running. We're just going to have to wait on 10 pencil sets. All right. Handicrafter's Lodge is next. Now, it would be really mean as if every time you build a dam upgrade, you had to have a set of blueprints you couldn't just keep reusing. I'm sure that's I'm sure that's how this works. Yeah. OK. All right. You know, I I have to respect it. I have to respect the commitment to uh, absolute punishing difficulty here. But, it, you know, it's something we eventually want to do, so I can't get I uh, can't get too mad about that. Just have to have the Handicrafters Lodge start pumping out these pencil sets. How is the uh, process here looking good? Okay, yeah, you know, it's it's working. Very slowly. But it is working. Plenty of water. Food supply is mm, adequate, mostly. Making planks, making sawdust. Uh, we don't have... I don't have any screw press axles to do any more uh, sunflower oil. Uh, is that required for... No, it's not. Sunflower seeds. Required for the library, so I think we're probably okay. Uh, scrap metal, scrap metal. Okay, no, this guy, this guy's working, that's fine. Just have to wait a little bit of time to get that uh, taken care of. I will say it's very nice that we're able to recover pretty easily from everybody almost being dead. Nice view. Oh, how am I supposed to do that? You know, it's probably on these billboards I haven't looked at. Um, helpful info. Wait, hold on. Actually important help. Actually important important information for the for the what? Is that just a uh, it got truncated thing, or is that actually a meme? Um, too easy, wrong order, right order, building water tightness, connect power, how to, how to not starve, how to not die of thirst, water pump upgrade board, about awful stew, buried tank, small mine board, medium, okay, that's not it. Decorative carrots. Oh, okay, there is decorative, all right. I wonder, okay, there's no area of effect or anything, I was about to say, that would be cool if it helped your crops grow more. Uh, mods, modding community, water beavers. Yep, that's this mod. Yep. Choo Choo mod, which, by the way, I'm told works again. We're going to be incorporating that. Not in this playthrough. Not yet, at least. Uh, but the other one, hopefully soon. Caution modder sign, category button, ladders. I, I'm thinking about putting ladders in this one, but we'll see what happens. More platforms, path extension, village square. Um, I don't think that's something we've messed with. And then a billboard about billboards. I love that. Um, you won't regret this. Okay, these are all um, these are all beams, I guess. Uh, okay, this is the one. This is the one. The greatest human. <laughs> it inspires uh, awe within ten tiles. A certainly useful message to display. All right, who, so who who's the greatest human then? Let's uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I love it. I love it when national stereotypes are actually accurate. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, that's Napoleon and the developer of the mod is French, so <laughs> well played. Well played, sir. <laughs> this is I love this. This is ridiculous. Alright. Let's um oh, I'm not gonna be able to stick this anywhere, am I? Um Sure. <laughs> we'll, we'll just we'll just put this right here in the center of town, so every everyone can gaze at the uh, the glory of Napoleon Bonaparte on a billboard in a beaver town. <laughs> oh my god, man! That's funny. All right, so we're making pencil sets. I thought we were making pencil sets. We don't have paper. Okay, they are making paper. Uh, pine resin and sawdust. Why is this? Okay. 
pine resin. We we just need a, we need a lot more pine resin. Um, tappers. I know there's a tapper building somewhere. Sequoia cradles. We need to get into that at some point. Uh, would that just be under basic village structures? Or maybe it's... Okay, here it is. Oh, it's just, duh. It's just a regular tapper shack. Oh, but it employs four tappers? Oh, okay. All right. Well, if that's the case, then what we should do, should go ahead and do is I'm just going to uh, build that right here at the corner. And they can get at it because uh, we definitely, definitely could use lots more. Yeah, cut that thing down and then we will uh, definitely, definitely build this immediately. Yeah, get that thing going. Meanwhile, okay, this is actually uh, progressing reasonably well. We need to make sure this... I guess I didn't really have to get rid of this, but whatever. Might as well. Where's my dams? Here we go. Primitive dam. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't have that. Okay. That can go there. All right. They will uh, They'll get that done eventually. Now, have we made any pencil sets yet? No, because we need paper. And we're not making paper because we don't have enough pine resin, and we aren't making pine resin because we don't have this built. So this is definitely going to be a uh, requirement here. Cabbage-wise, we have a nice... Yeah, we have a nice overflow of cabbage. So our kimchi game should be strong here. Should make a nice batch. Might need to have more than four of those barrels, though. I guess we'll see what happens. Because I need to keep making science so I can keep unlocking stuff. Because I really want to have... Oh, we could... Can only... Blank. Okay, we already talked about that. Can only plant pumpkins. That needs the shiny blueprint. The assistant farmer's upgrade it does not need the shiny blueprint. That's what I want to research next, but I don't know. Don't know if that's what I actually want to research yet or not. I think I should go ahead and unlock these dam upgrades even if I can't uh even if I can't build them yet. At least not totally. I can place them down and start using some of this tar. So this is needing Oh, this actually has all of its uh, all of its bits now to make one blueprint over three hundred hours. So that is what eleven days ish <laughs> to make one blueprint. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's a that's three hundred working hours. That's not three hundred consecutive hours. Well, get to work. You got your stuff. Except you don't have all the paper. All right. Well, uh, then you guys get to work. Sawdust is actually looking pretty full. Okay. That's good. Um, the metal fasteners. I think we still need to have a pretty good amount to finish uh, these guys. Maybe not. We haven't gotten to there. Haven't gotten to there. I think we're going to need some more uh, screw press axles here. Pretty soon, uh, metal fasteners. Oh, we have we have plenty. Um, oh no, that makes saw blades. How do I make the? Um, oh, I I just looked at this. Sawmill only makes saw blades. How have I already forgotten how to how to make all this stuff? Screw press axle. Screw press axle. On the mechanic lodge, pomade gears. No. Oh, this is actually some interesting stuff here. Alchemist, no. Primitive paper mill. Am I just completely out of my mind here? Cauldrons. All right, here comes another uh, another drought. Let's go back to single speed here. How how have I messed this up already? Now I man, I got I gotta remember what goes where. Okay, who makes screw press axles? I feel like that has to be... I thought that was the gnawing station, but this is plant... Oh, I, wow. Wow. 
<laughs> it's been here the whole time. All right. Um, maybe I should just build a second one of these. Honestly, I think that's probably a uh, probably a smarter thing to do. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, I'll just I'll just make another one. That is the easier way to do it. So that can be for screw press axles. That's fine. We'll just build it there. And that'll be another five beavers that I don't have a uh, spot for. But we do have uh, beaver children. And I can easily um, remove some guys from some of these other things. So that's looking like it's going to be fine. This is progressing. Pretty, uh, pretty nicely. Uh, Water-wise, we definitely could still use some more. Definitely could use some more. Yeah, but I don't have any way to actually continue uh, building on top of this stuff. So I guess we're just going to leave that the way it is. I definitely should be taking advantage of our power here until I can't any longer, which uh, unfortunately requires me to have screw press axles, which take a very long time to build. Candy Crafters Lodge has made 15 pencil sets. All right. Still needs paper. Still needs paper. And these guys are waiting on sawdust. Okay. So I guess I just need to prioritize those. The haulers need to do hauler things. And yeah, we have we have cabbage. So I think uh, food-wise, our problems are at least for now uh, pretty substantially uh, finished. I wonder why they haven't built this yet. Oh, oh, it's it's because they're focusing on building the dams we can't use. All right. Okay, that was a mistake. Let's uh, put this slightly elevated priority. I, I really do need them to build this log gnawing station first. We can get somebody in here chewing on wood to make screw press axles. I know that's the truth. So they're just about done here with the night day 16. There we go. Make those screw press axles 70 hours. Okay, not quite as bad as I thought. Oh, now, what did I have as a lower priority? I think it was these water pumps. No, it's it's not actually. Okay. Well, now I don't remember what I had such a low priority on. Maybe it was... Yep, yeah, okay. It was the rudimentary sawmill, which is okay. That is a-okay. You know, get, uh, get gnawing here. Make sure. Make sure you get gnawing, because we definitely need to be using... All of that stuff. Okay, that's just about done. We should have these get built next. At least next in this area. Hopefully, yeah, there we go. Yeah, put that log in there. There we go. There we go. That does not need to be super high priority. Because uh, I shouldn't be having uh shouldn't be having too much else go on here. So where is it taking these guys from? Aha, the little lumberjack flag. Okay, that's good. That's I wanted that to be that way. So we can be pretty uh, pretty happy about that. Uh, should hopefully not be any longer than the last drought was. Maybe seven days, ideally, would be nice. I know it can go up to nine. But I, I want to try and get a little bit more done before we call it for today. This special bonus episode. I just, mm, I need, I need this guy to get his paper. Who, who's in here? Query everything. I actually don't think it's a guy. Uh, but I digress. This needs to have a lot faster action here to make five hours to make one little piece of paper. Well, it, it is a primitive paper mill, so I think that's one of those things that, uh, yeah, we can unlock eventually, but it, it, it does take time that we don't particularly have. So this uh, tapper's flag can go away now that the tapper's shack is a thing. That frees up one other uh, beaver job for us here. <laughs> I, 
I love how I've got I've got three of these guys just constantly. Plus these bonus guys constantly cutting away these brambles and they're still growing faster than we can cut them down. Gotta love the tenacity, honestly. Eight day drought. Okay. Well, it's probably still fine. I'm going to swap the order of uh, these guys. And deprioritize. So now this guy's a little bit closer to uh, these cabbages. Can get those. And then I believe we should be, yeah, we should be just about done down here. Yep, that one is approaching it done. That one shouldn't take that much longer. If, if all of these are done, then all I have to do is put these guys up there. So let's go ahead. I have the science now. I can research primitive dam upgrade number one. Yeah, look at that. I love how this is just a texture stacked with like some bracing on it. So that can go there and that can go there. I, that matches up quite nicely. I like that. Um, so they can start putting in uh, all the other ingredients. Even if I can't put this one down yet. So that will be that much closer to being done. Obviously, you can't use it right now because, well, it's in the middle of a drought. But if we can flood all this, well, you know the brambles aren't ever going to die. But and flood all this, we're going to have so much more water. Uh, I'm not really concerned about the berries. That's just completely beyond my uh, level of caring. Because, well, it's, they shouldn't be a primary food source. I, I think they're just going to eat them uh, if they have to. But if we can get all this flooded, we're going to have a much more water to pump. We can just keep on adding more and more and more and more and more. And really, really have a, well, something, have something going here. I kind of want to see, though, um, if I can, I'm just going to pause this to try this. See if I can put a water pump on top of... I can! Ha ha ha. Well, uh, that is going to become something else that we can do. I'm not going to be able to build this yet, am I? Because that building has to be there before I can... Yep. Well, it was worth a shot. If I have a death wish for wasting resources, then I can just build a whole bunch of this stuff all the way down here and just have these all in a row, all upgraded. But that will allow us to get another three jobs if I do this and then put, um, or is it just one job? Yep, okay, another two jobs, but hey, all in a line, this looks cool. Unpause, I don't know why I had it paused in the first place, but we're all good here. How are we doing here, paper-wise? I don't have enough paper to make any more pencil sets. This guy still needs paper, so I'm kind of tempted to build another primitive paper mill, although I'm not sure that it could be adequately supplied. But I feel like we still kind of need to, uh, kind of need to have this. Yeah, let's 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 just do that. Why not? We have eighty-four beavers now. Once the uh, houses here are a little bit more uh, built up, then that'll help us expand to fit what we've got to fit here. Uh, I can also unpause the wood felling planification lodge. Not that that really is going to be that big of a uh, that big of a deal. Because we don't have the we don't have the beavers to work there either, but I, I could just modulate by having just the one here. Yeah, I think we want the extra capacity for a beaver baby making purposes, which means I can get rid of this, which means that can go back to being a regular uh, cuttable square. I can actually go ahead and uh, do that too. I think I'm going to go ahead. <clears throat> excuse me, going to go ahead and uh, completely cut everything inside of this and plant <laughs> yep plant more cabbage because you can probably never have too much cabbage it's too bad the farmhouse oh it's watertight never mind i was about to say man i sure wish i could put 
farmhouse like down here and save a bunch of space, but I didn't think it was possible. And now I know the truth. So let's get rid of our uh, our crappy platforms here, recover some of those logs, and if this is actually going to work, you know, not the worst idea. Decidedly not the worst idea. Especially if it's water type, it means it can go underwater. Love that. Love that. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's do that. Let's build let's build even more farmhouses, or at least two of them next to each other. Would make sense. All right, you know what's coming? More cabbages. All right, how are we looking down here? Make good progress. Yep, looks like it. They haven't started supplying this stuff yet, but I also uh, don't expect them really to do that. Oh man, is that the 300 hours is killing me because they can't start until they have all their paper. So I guess let's just go ahead and prioritize this paper mill. Got plenty of water, got plenty of food. Everything else is looking, uh, looking pretty okay. Poor guy is trying to make some sunflower oil and can't because he doesn't have any screw press axles. And only 55% of the way done. Because they got to keep chewing. Yeah, so where's all the materials for this thing? So I know, I know, I know they have to have some. Also, what's your complaint? Broken teeth? Injured. What is your injury? Beaver will die soon. Yikes. Um, how how did that happen? Well, I guess we won't know. Oh, uh, healer, healer, healer. I can't have to research. Oh, I forgot about the trebuchet. That's hilarious. No, the healer's gone. Um, or at least it's not there. That is, is it one of these? No, farm upgrade builder's office. Huh. Interesting. Hauler's Warehouse. That's cool. I did not know that was a thing. That is actually interesting. All right, hurry, hurry up and finish this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you're going to let it sit here? Okay, there you go. So now they can uh, attempt to make some paper. Oh, is it just killing me? Because, oh man, we, we could have already been like 50 or 60 hours into this one blueprint. But I guess we'll just have to keep waiting. Well, we'll see what happens. My main goal for today was just try not to, you know, kill all the beavers. So I, th I think we've accomplished that in... Uh, Pretty convincing fashion. So let's uh, keep planting some more cabbages. Yeah, I'm actually quite uh, quite happy with uh, us not having to wipe this playthrough on. Uh, I don't what I don't even know what day this would be. I guess day f day four of playing it, but it would it would have been I think the beginning of cycle eight is where we started this. Uh, Sort of this episode, but man, was that gonna suck? <laughs> if that's what a, uh, that's what our first series of the Water Beavers ended on was that kind of a failure. All right, we're two percent of the way, two percent of the way done. Ninety-eight percent more to go on the uh, <laughs> the damn upgrade blueprint. Oh boy, my kingdom for fast research. So this is now the thing. Then they're gonna start doing these and these. Let's go ahead. And research this little one. Put that in place. And now I can uh, go ahead and place in this. And there you go. You're going to have uh, a full dam coverage all the way across here. And it shouldn't, shouldn't have any problems leaking out anywhere because it's backed up on this side as well. So that is going to be huge. Now, of course, this isn't going to be done today because it would take probably another uh, two cycles to do all the all the blueprints alone. Unless I had two architect's lodges. Which, you know, probably isn't that 
bad of an idea. Mm, do I have the materials to make this? I don't have the paper. But I, I do think... Mm, yeah, I, I did get a response from the uh, creator of the mod about the overlay, and unfortunately it's not something that is possible to be removed. Oh well. I'll live. But we'll uh, we'll put the other Architect's Lodge here. And I guess... I guess we can just have two of them researching at the same time. In theory, if we can get everything we need, then that would be uh, a much faster way to operate. But I, th I fear that our library is uh, sapping some valuable resources from our uh, Architect's Lodges, although I'm, I'm going to choose not to be that worried about it. We do have plenty of, uh, plenty of stuff to be happy about here. These guys are going to be next. Uh, I really want that farm upgrade, though. So, uh, assistant farmers, that's another 100. Let's see, cannot plant crops, but it can, but it can gather stuff. So I definitely, definitely need these guys here. Now, can all of these reach all of this? So these should probably actually both be... Uh, Gatherers. Harvesting. That seems to be a, seems to be a smart idea. Because we've got a lot of cabbages up here that have not been harvested. I know I probably should be having some additional farmhouses up here. But for right now, I'm going to choose not to worry about it. Let's make sure we can plant as much as we uh, need to plant over here. Yeah, as long as we have all these brambles to cut back, I don't think we're going to need to worry about uh, wood supply for quite some time. All right, that's the end of the drought. Cycle 10, day 1. And we survived. So, you know, that's always good. Yep, it's going to take them a uh, hot second to do that. How's our architect lodge? Actually a lot closer than I thought. We just need to get the rest of the paper in here. Looks like that is what they are in the process of doing. Very good, very good. Get some more beavers in here. That's going to bring us up to a capacity of 90 beds once this is complete. So how about that? We went from on the brink of death, colony destruction, and now we have almost three times as many beavers as we started with. That's a successful recovery. I think we can be, uh, be very happy with how this works. Need the one more piece of paper. And this architect's lodge will be done. And this is, oh yeah, we're only at 20%. There's no way we're going to have this today. But now we got Greasy Trigger working alongside. Query everything here to make our damn upgrade blueprints. Yep, we need uh, all these things to get put in place. But I think we're up to the task. We just got to make sure we have enough pencil sets. I'm going to deprioritize this building because we don't need to be hoarding the rest of these resources if we don't need to make any more pencil sets, which we don't. And yeah, I think this is probably actually a good place to go ahead and call it for today and uh, revisit this on Wednesday with our next episode. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed getting two of these in one week. Uh, it was a result of not being able to live stream today as of the posting of this video. But uh, hopefully this was a nice uh, way to fill the time and make a little bit of progress here in our Water Beavers playthrough and save the colony from destruction. So definitely, definitely very happy with the way things have turned out so far. Uh, turns out that little reset of all of our uh, jobs and prioritizing the production and harvesting of food with a lot more farmhouses was exactly what we needed. So thank you to all of you who commented and uh, offered tips or advice or even just laughing at me for being dumb. It's all fun. It's all part of uh, the experience of playing the game. Especially the uh, creator of the mod himself also pops in and takes a, a good look at the video and gives me advice and uh, helpful information like that. So thank you to everybody. As always, comments, welcome. Anything, even if it's just laughing at me for being dumb, I just like reading your comments and knowing that you're engaged with and enjoying the content. So please always feel free, no matter what it is, to say hi or whatever. I do read all of them. Can't always respond. And sometimes it takes me a couple days to get to them. But I do make sure to read every comment people leave. 
and uh, appreciate all of your contributions as well as the Beard Boosters and all of the stuff that they do, all of their support that makes it possible for me to continue doing these almost back to daily uploads now. We're, we're slowly working our way back, uh, trying to get some better time management going on in my personal life to allow me to do this. But I very, very much enjoy all of your uh, all of your kindness and all of your generosity. And even those of you who aren't the Beard Boosters too, just uh, glad that you're here. So I hope whatever it is that you're doing with the rest of your day, have a fun and a safe time, and we'll see you back tomorrow for another bonus episode in the Folktales modded playthrough. But yeah, that's it. We'll see you back in this playthrough on Wednesday. And of course, we have other videos coming out for all of our other stuff in the meantime. So make sure to check those out. I will see you on the next episode. Have a good one. Bye-bye.